Hi everybody. Today I'm going to talk to you about the Note B flat. Um, when I say B flat, I'm talking about this one, as well as one octave higher. This is a note that frankly really frustrates me on the flute because we learn a fingering usually at the beginning that honestly is not very practical. And I have lots of students come to me in middle school and high school who have never learned that there are two other fingerings for B-flat that actually work most of the time a whole lot better. So I'm going to show you what those are and show you how and when to use them. The first fingering involves the B-flat thumb. So you'll notice I have two keys here. This is my regular thumb key. This is my B flat thumb. If I am playing the note B, I'm going to use this regular one. If I slide it over, my B will become a B flat. When you play the B flat thumb, you do not have to also use your F key. It's a much easier fingering. This is a fingering that I recommend using for flat keys. Um, F, B flat, E flat, A flat, and D flat. Um, when you're teaching students, band directors, teach them to use their B flat thumb when they are working in those keys on those scales. Use the B flat thumb. Um, so I'm going to slide over so you can see my fingers. Here's an F scale. There's my B flat. I've got the B flat thumb, which you can't see, but I have it down. There it is again. Now, the second fingering that I'm going to show you involves this lever right here. Now, my flute has two levers. Um, most student flutes are just going to have one. It's right here. This is your lever, which you can see makes this key go down. So if I'm playing a B natural with my regular thumb fingering down and I touch this lever, it becomes a B flat. I'm going to move so you can see. And you'll notice I'm hitting this with the side of my finger, not reaching with the tip of my finger. This is a lever that you use just by sliding. This lever is something that you should have your students use when they are practicing chromatic scales and scales in the key of G flat or F sharp, C flat or B. Um, I have taught beginner students these fingerings right from the jump. Um, I find that it's actually pretty helpful for them. They get confused at first, um, but in the long run, they are better off. Um, I get lots of high school students who come to me and they want to be playing grade six solos, which have lots of fast scale passages, and they're still fooling around with this finger, this fingering here, which is super awkward. Um, this would be a cross fingering, and this is something you really want to avoid on the float as much as you can. It's very hard to execute it cleanly. Um, now, I'm going to show you what it looks like when I use the lever. Here's my G. G sharp, A. Now, when I play my A, you can see that my lever is going down without me having to press it. So, I'm going to play my B flat next. While I'm playing A, I'm going to put my finger on the lever. There's my B flat. I lift my finger here, and then I have a B natural. Pretty much when you are playing an ascending passage, 
the lever will already be I'm, yeah, the, le the lever will already be down and your finger's just going to need to move over to keep it down until your B flat or A sharp is done and then you lift it up on a descending passage you will actually need to press the lever and then once you get to the next note then you can lift it up I know this sounds confusing but if you have a flute in your hand and you try it I think you'll find that it it's not so bad it's not so bad once you do it a few times um, with my own students when they are playing pieces in flat keys uh, B flat E flat A flat D flat um, I just tell them to keep the B flat down the B flat thumb down um, when they're playing F sharp G flat C flat B then I use the lever a um, couple of other quick pointers your B flat thumb can stay down for other notes besides B flat so for instance like if I'm playing my F major scale I don't have to put this down only to play the B flat I just leave it down there are two notes on the flute that you cannot play with the B flat thumb down uh, besides B natural obviously but I cannot play a high F sharp with my B flat thumb it sounds like this You can hear what happens when I put it down. The note doesn't come out at all. The other is a high B. It doesn't come out at all. If I have the B flat thumb down. Other than other B naturals, you can have those, you can have the B flat thumb down and just keep it down. Um, if you need, if your students are playing in a flat key and there's a B natural accidental that shows up, I try to have them move back to the regular thumb when their thumb is off anyway for example if they're playing a C playing a high G when you need to switch those are places that you can look and say okay when I come back down I'm going to have my regular thumb down once that accidental has passed when it's up again I can have them move it back um, this is not something that you want to encourage your students to do to switch back and forth this way this is something that's very hard to be precise with is generally not a good idea um, same thing with the lever I'm going to turn so you can see this is also not something that you want to see your kids doing it's very easy to overshoot the key um, this is not a good idea so if you find that you're in either of these situations where you're either doing this or doing this that's when you want to use the regular B flat key for example if I'm gonna play a B flat to an F it makes sense for me to have this down now I know this seems confusing um, once your students get used to playing with these different fingerings I think you'll find that they will naturally begin to integrate them into their playing um, if band directors are confused about when they should have them down just ask me and I can tell you a lot of times with my own students I'll actually go through and write them in for them which fingering that I want them to use you know at any given point in their piece um, so I hope that explains some things about B flats on the flute one of the biggest favors you can do your flute players, band teachers, is to teach them these fingerings. Um, makes a big difference once they get to the point where they're playing grade five and grade six solos. Bye.